Welcome back to Cisco's Medieval RPG. We are entering the Nether, and you know we're just hoping to get some Netherite and maybe oh, I don't know, maybe some cool gear. But like we've got too much to lose. Oh my goodness! I almost went in there with 67 levels. You know what's going to happen with that? I'm going to die and I'm going to lose it all. Let's just store that. We are going to go into here, and we're going to try to get some crazy stuff. So the enemies around here are level 30-ish, I think. Let's just drink that and uh, get right to things. Oh. So we gotta find blazes while we're here too. Which I'm pretty sure I can hear one somewhere. So I know we spawned like right under another fortress, it's just we couldn't really get into it. Is this another fort here? There's wither skillamans. Hoping we can take down some of these guys without too much difficulty. The knockback is a bit annoying. Get over here so I can finish this off. There we go. Oh, he's back. And now he's done. Alright. What do we get? Wall of Fire, Wild and Horn, Mana Regen. Some decent stuff in there. Oh, that's the Skelly Zone that we were in to start. Yeah, that's where we spawned in. Real rough starting zone, eh? Oh man. So we need a bunch of blazes. Uh Down there, we could get those guys, maybe. Unfortunately, Firebolt, not really useful against them.
Okay. Let's get these guys. Please, no, no, no. Oh. I like this glaive, but it's just sending guys flying. That mosquito hurt. I don't even see where the blazes went. That man did over an entire health bar in one swing. That's a lot of damage. I think it's this way to some blazes, I think. Okay. Ideally, we can take this guy out. What is it? Critical Sunder, Everlasting, Knockback, Looting, Capturing. I think we've got something that's making them walk all weird. Okay, get rid of him. This looks like the spot where blazes would spawn. No spawner. Get him in the corner. Oh. Got eight blaze rods. I think that's enough to start. I just realized we have like no health from taking whatever tiny hits we did take. Let's go home. We got the blaze rods. All right. So once again, no netherite. It's just, it's not happening. Don't got that kind of luck. It's just, it's not gonna happen. Oh my goodness, this stuff is crazy. All this stuff we've got. Uh, I gotta... In between now and next time, I'll redo our storage and set it up all nice so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Because as it is, it is a mess to deal with. An absolute mess. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna reorganize all that. Fence, log, and plank should all be handled already. So I don't know why that's, like, not done. We have to make that thing that allows us to make like unbreakable gear. It's just, you know, don't don't have everything I want set up yet. I have to like reorganize that entire structure so we're good. Oak panel, oak stair, redstone dust. That's weird. Stone brick stair. Cancel your request there. Hospital makes sense. Hospital can request that.
You back to doing your job properly again? You are. Okay, wonderful. Can I buy any skill points in here? Recently, no. You're providing Dior with stuff now? Good. Okay, so let's look at this a bit then. Scribe's table is going to be important. Oh, I can't wait to make use of some of that gear. I just won't wait till we have like the netherite level armor before I make any of that. Like until we like have that, I don't, I don't want to use those like high quality pieces of equipment there. Excuse me, something's wrong with my inventory. Yeah, the scribe's table messes up the inventory for some reason. That's weird. Okay, so we can make something on here. Let's try projectile harm. Projectile? Oh, I can craft these? Is that how it works? No, I know these. That that what it is? But I feel like I already have that one then. So if we do ray, no, arc, oh my goodness, trying to figure this out, it's going to take a little while. So amplify, select, toss the items as they appear to complete crafting. Diamond pickaxe, we have one of these as a spare. It will do a fancy thing. Crafting Glyph of Amplify. I right click that. I now have Amplify. Alright. Cool. Uh, I think. Okay, there's gotta be a table for like spell crafting in here, right? That's how this one works. I'm just trying to figure out how, how I make a spell. Uh, no, we don't need to do that right now. We need to figure out why this is not working. Alright. There we go. So we can open the spell book, we can create a spell. Let's go projectile, harm, amplify, ouch, let's create it. There we go, we can scroll through our spells now. That shoots out a little projectile, costs a bit of mana. Can spam it out pretty quick and it regens at a decent rate. <clears throat> I think we have mana regen on some of our gear, yes. And mana boost. Okay, so we're gonna want to get those enchantments a lot. Oh, it looks like they're off to work on it. Wonderful. And now this is working again. Great. Good to see things back in functional order. <clears throat> Still kind of sad that we don't got guards.
I wonder if I can get them to grow trees too. No? We can get them to grow all sorts of things that we need. There, they should grow all those different vegetables. This is such a messy setup, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Alright, yeah, so our nether journey it just it didn't work out very well. We got the blaze rods, which is pretty big. But nothing else really went to plan there. That's no good. <coughs> so I'm thinking we check out the nether section of that uh, that nearby dungeon. And hopefully we come up with, you know, a bit of gear. Some obsidian maybe, some blaze stuff, ender pearls would be nice. We should have the gear to be able to like loot through some of it. And one issue here is that there's so much stuff in here. Got so much stuff in there. It's just... It takes up so much space. So in between, you know... Today and next time, I am gonna rework all our storage. Uh, I heard a recommendation to use barrels, so I'm gonna try that out. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try to make it a bit more efficient. A bit better. Because right now it's not very good. I think we can take some of the uh, the enchanted armors that were in here though pretty well. Like with the enchantments that we now have, we should be able to survive like a single hit on some of them. Oh, now it finally realizes that we've been in here. I guess it's because we made the explorer's compass, yeah that makes sense. Uh, let's just grab a stack of those. Having night vision down here would definitely be a help. A very big help. Oh yeah, we can scoop up spawners now. Oh. Oh, that's kind of broken for farming now, isn't it? I guess we've got a two-handed weapon now. We can't uh, offhand torches. All right. <clears throat> Let's go through here. So, I uh, I had a recommendation to build a table that could remove enchantments. I can't find it anywhere in like the uh, the items I can craft, but I did find something that does something very similar. Uh, tomes of scrapping will do pretty much the same thing, so that's what we're going to be using. Ooh. Okay, fancy armor. And then some of this is nice stuff. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take green gear. Blue bomb. We can keep this guy in the corner. Oh, oh. Kind of like erratic movements that they do here and there. It's a bit rough. I uh, grab some melon seeds. That could be good. Throw all that into there.
That stuff goes in there. That guy hits pretty hard. scrap. Wasn't expecting to get it that way, but I'll take it. Ooh, Arc Archmage. I think that's like a really good gem. Look at that 250 spell power. Oh, okay. That's some good stuff. That's like the real good stuff, I think. Enchanted book. Supply camp. I guess I could take it. I don't know, we'll just put it in there. Okay, so I'm hitting them with inebriation. That's the issue. And I don't know. Is that just a, a built in effect on this weapon? That might be it. So, what we gotta do here, unfortunately... Okay, hopefully that's all still visible. There we go, now we can actually read it. Okay. Yeah, we don't want things that inflict inebriation in the future. I don't know what some of these plants are, but... Grabbing them because they might actually be real good. I think that's a pretty good find right there. I think that's one of those uh, ones for making the armor and stuff from the uh, Ars Magic mod thing. I think that's the uh, the material you use for that. I remember when these guys absolutely destroyed me every time I run into them. Now we can actually fight them, even if it's a bit closer than I'd like. Oh, another backpack. We'll take that. Some inks. Inks are good. Ray of Siphoning. Sounds like we're getting into some uh, fancy blood magic kind of thing, stealing people's life or stuff like that. I wonder what's up in there. I'm gonna have a thousand health. I'm not liking some of these skeletons. This is some crazy stuff going on here. I think I just threw my weapon at him. I don't even know how I did that. Okay, my stuff is not there. And this is not good. Hmm. 
I'll take it. So we lost our cool weapon. But we got out alive. But we lost our cool weapon. Excuse me. I think we're gonna go home. You know, I, I, I think we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the house. Yeah. Anyway. Can I upgrade this? To Mage's Spellbook, okay. Use that to make the Archmage Spellbook. Which we've got a good bit of what we need, we just need another star in the other bit. What are we gonna do? We need a weapon. Alright, let's grab just a random weapon from here. I don't know. This sword for now. Until we make a new weapon. We could get netherite ingots that way, but that just feels kind of cheesy right now. Oh, uh, what's it take to make tome scrapping? Not bad. And that we can actually probably make this, yeah? Yeah, we could probably do this. Oh, I'm so sad. Our good, our good weapon's gone already. We had it for like a few seconds. Over here, we've got the inscription table, right? And the scroll forge. We can make scrolls here. And can we make ink? Put scrolls through thing we can get ink. Ah, uh, that's... Now these... These might be worth going after. Oh, these are those boss... not bosses, these mobs that... Alright. We should be able to find these guys pretty easy, actually. That's the best way to get ink, eh? So I say we make a teleport out somewhere. I say the arch forest. And maybe we head down here and we check out this guy. Because he's not too far. The village is there. So that's right there. That, I believe, is one of those pillager outposts. He should have bookshelves books, and if we can tame them down, we might be able to get some ink. If we get high quality ink, we can make spells with that. Let's see where I'm getting with that. We can really improve our gear with that. So if we can make some really high power spells, then when we get the armor, we'll be able to use them to good effect. We're gonna need a weapon though. Oh, alright. Go on, new glaive. Maybe we get some diamonds here. Glaive would definitely help. If we can find netherite, that's huge. I don't want to find any of that though. We should go after that Swamp Jaw boss. That would be a good one to go after. Right, so basic pillagers shouldn't really be any threat to us though. Even if we're using a slightly weaker weapon than the last one. 
Oh yeah, and we don't got a spell cast on this one, which is sad. But if we need to, we can just swap to that to spell cast. So upon taking them down, we turn them into spawn eggs sometimes, that's cool. They got some ravagers in here. Hey. Eh? Eh? We're gonna need like a hundred bars of health to actually like survive anything. I think get our stuff back and we maybe call it for the day and tomorrow we check out the Twilight Forest or something. Something kind of kind of a bit more chill. I feel like that's a bit easier than the nether. There's like passive things in there it's not terrible all the time. Unless they've changed it since, like, the last time I poked my head into it. Which was a very long time ago, so... At least I think it was. I don't remember the last time I did the Twilight Force. I've never completed it. I've only, like, done a bit of it here and there. When was the last time I did it? Did I do it in one of these mod packs? No, I didn't. So it's been a while. Excuse me? Did it really hit me through a block from the surface? No, I'm calling BS on that. Back here on. Sad, good, good, good. And that one. Home time. Move that stuff to places we're actually using it. Okay. Yeah, that went really poorly. If I remember correctly, it works something like this. Surround it with flowers. Place to water. And then throw in a diamond. Well, I think this is where we're going to leave it today, and tomorrow we'll jump right on into here. So I hope you've enjoyed, and if you have, please stick around for some more. I'll see you next time, and have a good day.